Hey, hello, good morning. Hey, y'all. It's Tuan here with Go Inspire Go. I think I'm going to call this Styling Your Spirit. Um, I think that's what I'll call this segment. Anyway, excuse me for looking like a hot mess. I just literally got back from the farmer's market here in San Francisco. And I was having a conversation the other day with a friend of mine who was one of the people that helped style anthropology. She's a style sister. Hey, Sophia. And she was just saying, oh, you should do something on arranging flowers because I know that a lot of people don't know how to arrange flowers. And the funny thing is, I know so many people who um, will buy flowers, whether it's from the farmer's market or from Trader Joe's or Safeway or anything. And what they'll do is they'll just like literally find any sort of vessel. Let's say, for example, my gold blade here. And they will just put the flowers straight up in the goble like this. It's my kitchen, by the way. Um, and then they'll leave it there. Um, sometimes even in the plastic. And for me, I just think flowers are such a, a beautiful gift to your home. Um, and so many people um, that I've talked to are like, oh, you know, I'm trying to save money. I don't want to buy flowers. I feel like it's a waste. But if you think about it, flowers are like a gift to your home. So why not, um, you know, either give yourself or the people you live with um, or friends this beautiful, I think, affordable luxury. You don't have to buy a ton of them. Like here's my stash right here, all my flowers I got uh, because I wanted to show you how to arrange flowers in the next episode. But the first thing I wanted to talk about even before you arrange flowers is how do you choose the flower colors? Because I've had friends who have been, um, in the past have been, asking me, and still asking actually, um, hey Tuan, will you go with me to the farmer's market and help me pick flowers? And I was just like, it seems like it's so easy, right? Uh, but I think naturally some people um, understand the natural color wheel. If you don't know what the color wheel is, Google it, you'll understand it more. Um, but if not, here's a really simple tip. So what I did today, for example, was I was at the Fort Mason farmer's market and I went to a flower stand and I was like, okay, um, I'm gonna go, um, maybe pick out a few bunches of flowers and arrange them. Uh, I mean, it could be simple, and I'll talk about simple floral arrangements in, in the future, uh, but you could just buy one of these bad boys and um, arrange them, and I'll show you how in the next episode. Um, but if you're trying to pick flowers and you're confused because there's so many beautiful flowers, here's a simple tip. Think about a flower that, it, that sort of speaks to you, that you feel like, oh, like, oh, I love that, and you gravitate towards it. Some people love peonies. I love peonies, I love hydrangeas. Some people like lavender, some people like roses, some people like lilies and lilacs. So, uh, for example, today, these beautiful ranunculas, look how gorgeous they are, really kind of spoke to me. So I was just like, wow, look at these beautiful spring colors. There's a little bit of yellow and pink and purple and a whole lot of green. And I thought, hmm, what can I pair it with? And I figured, well, I picked up these anemones because when they open up, you'll see some of the, the darker kind of purplish, almost black insides, um, which would pair well. So you see how I'm just pulling from the color of the focal point, which is the ranunculus, right? And I thought, hmm, this has um, also a little bit of white, but yellow in it. So I thought it would go well. And then I thought I'd be a little extra. <laughs> I'm a little extra sometimes. Um, and I thought, since there, there's purple here, why don't I just add a little bit of Lavender, I wish you could smell this. Like natural aromatherapy, y'all. So anyway, so look, these are the bunch of bunches of flowers. So that is flower picking 101. Let nature guide you is the tip. And this made me think about how in life am I allowing nature to guide me? And am I spending enough time in nature? It is actually in my um uh in my intention setting session, I have them every six months with two spiritual friends uh, of mine. Hey, Keely and Kate. Um, and we sit and we talk about what we're doing, we feel like we're doing that's aligned with our lives and what isn't aligned with our lives and what do we keep and what do we let go of in terms of those goals. And um, one of the things is to spend more time in nature. So I like bringing nature in. Flowers totally enliven your space and place. It's a gift to you and you deserve it, boo. So that's my thought of the day.